to show you in this video how to get bias binding to bend around corners or sharp curves. We're applying double-sided tape to both edges of this bias binding that we have fabricated in the one-inch tape maker available from Sailrite. The trick is to uh, use bias binding. Bias binding will uh, stretch nicely, whereas a straight cut binding will not. Uh, the use of the double-sided tape is definitely a must. So Chris is going to follow this uh, black marker on here and she's pulling uh, harder on the top side, the outer edge. Uh, she's pulling very, very hard to try to stretch that fabric. And there again, that's why bias binding works. On the bottom edge, it obviously needs to uh, shrink a little bit. So she's working out the wrinkles on the bottom edge. Again, stretch where the top edge is meant to go around the uh, bend or curve. You can expect some uh, wrinkles in the bottom edge here and you need to work those out. This came out very, very good for the fact that it is a very sharp curve. This is not normally as sharp a curve as you'd normally do. Next thing to do is take it to a sewing machine and sew both edges down. Now obviously you would have bias binding on the bottom side as well. Here we do not. So you would apply it both to the top side and then the bottom side. Notice those wrinkles on the bottom edge? They really came out pretty nice uh, for a sharp curve like this. And that's how you work with bias binding around a curve.